Around this time of the year, the town of Elgin is reminded of a great tragedy. In February of 1974, 23-year-old Kershaw County Deputy Ernest Potter was shot and killed by a hitchhiker while on patrol. Now in his first television interview, Potter's son is sharing more about his father's legacy and how it inspired him to follow in his footsteps. Here's Alicia Niaves. When I come into the world, I was the mascot of Kershaw County Sheriff's Department. Captain Ernest Christian Potter IV is following his father's lead as a public servant. As long as I can walk and talk and remember, I knew what I was going to do in my life. Along with his father's mannerisms and sense of humor, Chris also inherited his desire to help others. At least, that's what he hears. Kershaw County lost three deputies in the 70s, and my father was one of them. February 21st, 1974. Kershaw County Sheriff's Deputy Ernest Christian Potter III was on court duty in Camden. He got notified that there were hitchhikers on I-20, so he and another deputy, J.C. Tollison, were sent out to check on them. What they did not know was, earlier that morning, those hitchhikers had shot and killed four seconds patrolman Richie Finch and had escaped to the Kershaw County side of I-20. Once the deputies spotted the two hitchhikers, they pulled over and got out of the patrol car. What they did not see was a third hitchhiker hiding behind the guardrail. The one behind the guardrail put a gun to my father's head. Uh, the other two put a gun to J.C. Tollins' head, disarmed him, made him walk down a embankment and open fire. Potter did not survive. Tollison, who was also shot multiple times, managed to get back to the highway. A truck driver spotted him, pulled over, and rushed him to the hospital. A massive manhunt began. Multiple law enforcement agencies and local community members searched a 10,000 acre area through the next day, but with no luck. Three suspects eventually turned themselves in on charges related to the crime. They found out that I, they were expecting me around that same time as when this happened. She was about two, two, three months along with me, and then my father was killed, and my mother never remarried. From the moment he was born, Captain Potter says Kershaw County Sheriff Hector DeBrule and the entire department took him under their wing and groomed him for the job. I can remember being five years old and learning how to serve warrants at the Sheriff's Department, knocking on the door of the bathroom. In 1997, at 22 years old, he earned a spot with the Richland County Sheriff's Department. And I know it was hard. It was hard for her. It was very difficult for her for me to uh, come into this profession because it took so much from her. Most of the people here at work at the Sheriff's Department doesn't know Chris's story. Sheriff Leon Lott tells us before he hired Potter, he talked with his mother. She had reservations and what had happened to her husband and you know, she was scared. She was just like any parent would be, and particularly a mother who had raised him all by herself. Captain Potter is 45 now, with over 20 years of service in Richland County. Chris Potter the person, not Chris Potter just a deputy sheriff. That's what I hope people will see from this story. Every two years, Captain Potter and his mother go to the parole board to make sure his father's killer stays in prison. It has been a, a long road. It's been a bumpy road, but it, I, I'm, I'm happy where I'm at, and I'm, I'm thankful that I'm able to do this job because of it. I, I feel like there's always someone watching over me. Alicia Niaves, News 19, WLTX. Well, the other two men arrested in this case were exonerated of the murder. Deputy J.C. Tollison survived and continued to serve as a Kershaw County deputy for another 23 years. Captain Potter tells us the family trend of being in law enforcement could continue. That's because his 12-year-old daughter aspires to follow his lead. Stay with us. There's more News 19 at 6 coming up after this break.